So in this video, I want to share one simple idea principle I've used to radically shift my life with women and my happiness overall. And uh, if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to cover exactly how to use this this week as a step-by-step -step process to cause shifts immediately. Okay, so uh, let's dive in. This process is really simple um, and it has to do with our revealing process uh, idea, but it's an idea behind it, a simple idea. What you want when it comes to women specifically uh, doesn't come into fruition. You don't get what you want. You get more wanting when you want. You see, what you focus on expands. That's true. If you think about being poor, you're going to start imagining more and more scenes of you being poor. If you think about being rich and, and having abundance all around you, you're going to start to get more and more images of being rich. What well, most people do, and they're addicted to it when it comes to like, let's say money, we're going to use that and then we're going to come back to women, is they think about the wanting of money. I want money, oh, it'd be awesome to have money. And their mind is creating a separation between them and money. Because the, what you're saying to the subconscious mind is I want the experience of wanting money, not having money. And a lot of people don't understand what it feels like to have something, to enjoy it, to appreciate it. Because there's a sense when, you, when you're having something, you're pulling it into you, you're, you're bringing it to you versus you chasing it. Yeah, that doesn't mean you won't take action, but there's a sense it's coming to you like a magnet. They're both sides, you and the item are being pulled to each other. When you're wanting something, it's kind of like the reverse side of a magnet where you're being pu pushed away. And that's what most people's experience is. I didn't understand this for a long time. And this exercise really helped to illustrate this principle for me. Okay, so I want you to think about this for a minute. Now, when you walk down the street and you see beautiful women, do you go into wanting? Do you go into this constant craving, needing, like, oh God, I wish I could date her. Or I want her. Do you, do you feel like it's hard to get to know her, hard to talk to her? Do you feel less than her? These are all problems that come up in the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind wants to give you more of that experience. Ultimately, guys that are really successful with women don't feel less than the woman. They feel as good or better. And they don't feel like they want the woman at all. They know women like them and they know they're going to have a woman in their life. So whether it's this one or another one. Women are going to show up. If they, whether they walk over and say hi or not, it doesn't matter. The women are going to show up because they know they're sexy fucking bastards, right? And they, they feel it in their bones. They know women like them. They know women like men. They know women like sex. They have this belief in their body. So what we have to do is break an addiction. I want to say this again. You have to break this addiction to wanting a woman. You have to break this addiction to needing women, to be chasing the validation of women at a subconscious level to looking at a woman and putting her on a pedestal at all in your mind. I'm not talking about an action. I'm talking about this is something you're doing internally that, that, that creates a feeling in your body that you've got to break. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about how to break that addiction and start changing the way you feel about yourself. And you're going to start it this week. Now, before I do that, um, hopefully you're getting some value out of this. And if you are hit that like button right now, subscribe, hit that bell notification comment we definitely want to see your comments and share we really appreciate the shares help us to grow this channel and the more we grow this channel the more awesome content we'll be able to bring you definitely want to keep bringing you this awesome content so here's the simple practice i want you to think of a memory a really good memory where you felt solid you felt good you felt like a badass you maybe felt love something in the cap category of emotions courage acceptance love peace and take a moment and just sit in that memory Replay it in your mind as if it's happening now. Like, if you're, it's a beautiful, perfect moment on the beach, see the beach in front of you, hear the rolling waves, smell the salt air, feel the sand beneath your feet, maybe the warm sun, the breeze, and just relax and feel your body open. There'll be a sense your body's opening if you get it right. Like your chest will be loosening up, your stomach will be loosening, you'll be relaxing, and you'll feel a little endorphin pump. Get that memory solid in your mind and really feel it with your body. The whole key is to really feel it actually not with your mind, but with your body. Your body hates an endorphin response. And now I want you to let that memory go. Just drop it and then come back to the moment. Look around and notice the endorphin response starts to go down. And as you start to feel yourself relaxing from the memory, as soon as you come down to neutral again, do it again, bring it back up and feel that, that sense of warmth and the fuzziness and the joy or the peace or the love or the power that comes from that memory. And then as soon as it's at its peak again, let it go. And do this for me three or four times. You can pause this video, do it for me three or four times. 
maybe even five times, up to five times. Whatever feels good to you, solidly got the feeling in your body. I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And then when you've done it, restart it. Okay, good. So now you've done this five times, you can call this memory up at will. Now I want you to see, this is an experiment. You can do it either way. You can do it with the visual memory, like bring it up. But if you can do this next piece, do it. I want you to bring up the feeling again without the memory. Just ask your body, can I bring this feeling up at will right now? And some of you will be able to do it. Some of you will need the memory. Just notice what happens. And if you can, that's great. You're really starting to anchor it in the body at this point. With time, you will all be able to do it. With a little bit of regular practice on a daily basis, working with these feelings, you'll be able to call up a, a feeling that causes this endorphin response at will. This, in a sense, this cap emotion. Okay, good. Now you've got that. And now that you're working with that and everything is working really well, you've got that operating perfectly. Now we're gonna do the next step. I want you to go out find some beautiful women. Could be at the mall, could be at the beach, could be at a bar, and just get around some beautiful women. Start with a area that doesn't have so many that you're overwhelmed, but just enough where you can enjoy the women. You can look around, you can see them. And then as soon as you see a woman you find attractive, notice that old feeling. Oh, I want her, I need her. Uh, I don't feel as good as her. I wish I could talk to a girl like that. And the moment you feel that feeling, the moment that comes up, like it starts to rise in your body. There's a sense it's rising up. Turn away from her immediately and bring up this old memory, this, this memory that feels really good, the endorphin response memory, and let that take its place. Show that old wanting feeling, that nagging feeling of wanting her, that you can drop it at will and you can welcome this new awesome feeling that feels amazing. And then when you're feeling really good, relax and then start turn back towards this woman again or look at another one and when the feeling of wanting comes up, drop it and turn back towards this really positive feeling again. This really good anger that you've got in your body. Good. And then when that's, when you, when you completely forgot about the other feeling, drop it and go back um, to the other feeling. Look for another girl, look at the same one and let that one thing come up again, that needing. And as soon as it does, drop it. Now you might notice already it's getting weaker. Even if you're doing it right now with your imagination, it might be getting weaker. And that's awesome if it does. Keep doing it. And do it for about 15, 20 minutes. That's it. And you can do it with your imagination or you can do it out on the street in person with real women. I like to go out and do it in person. I'll go to a like Whole Foods market, I'll go to the mall down the street, I'll go to the beach. and and just do it. And what you're doing by doing this is you're pattern interrupting the neural pathways in your brain that go into the wanting, needing feeling of addiction, the feeling of less than. And then you're going into a good feeling and you're teaching your brain to drop it all together. And if you do that every day, 15, 20 minutes a day, then let it go. And then the next day, 15, 20 minutes, let it go or whenever it comes up throughout the day. By the end of one week, maybe even much sooner, often much sooner, you're gonna to start to feel very different. You're not gonna feel as much wanting, craving, or needing for these women. You're gonna to start to feel more of a sense of peace. And this is gonna allow you to make clear decisions. When you decide to go approaching again and walk up to a beautiful woman, it's gonna be much more powerful. It's gonna be much, I mean, there might still be fear, but you won't be as needy. You'll be much more powerful, much more bold or much calmer in your body, be able to feel more of your body. And this is the change I want you to get. But you gotta first get that endorphin response and then you gotta get good at pattern interrupting it. Letting it go, coming back, back and forth, over and over again. And then ultimately do it consistently because over time, not a, that won't even take a lot of time. For some people it's one day. For other people it's a week. For other people maybe it's a little bit longer. But you're gonna start to notice differences you're gonna to start to notice you're getting calmer, more present, and more comfortable around these women. I would actually encourage you to journal each time you do it so you can look back and see the differences you're feeling day to day as you start to want them less and enjoy them more. Because what should happen in the end is when you look at these beautiful women, it's not that you stop liking them, it's that you stop wanting them and you start enjoying them.
you know, there's a lot of things out there that you don't have to want, but you can enjoy. You can look at, oh, that's beautiful. That's amazing. But don't, you don't necessarily go into a want for it. Whether that means you can just easily get it when you, if you really wanted it, or whether you'd care or not, it doesn't matter. But that makes the biggest difference in the world when you actually go up to talk to the girls, when you actually go up to talk to the women. When you say hi, when you say you're beautiful, I had to meet you, and there's no want. And there's just you showing up, enjoying them, relaxing. It has a polarizing effect. It pulls them in, and it's really quite powerful. So go out and try this practice right away. You can try it, you can do it with your imagination, but I think uh, once you get it good with your imagination, if you do that first, definitely go out and do it for real with real people and uh, just walk around and do this over and over again and see if it doesn't create more space, more peace and more open-hearted appreciation for women in your life, which then pulls women to you because you're no longer pushing them away through wanting. And uh, I think that's it for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I have a video for you I want you to watch on a similar topic I did a few weeks ago. Uh, maybe it was a month or two ago on a similar topic that will help you to get a little deeper insights into why this works also. A little different angle on it. Check that out. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to comment, remember to hit that bell notification, all that good stuff. The more you share the channel, the more we grow the, the channel, the more good videos and good content we can bring you, the more creative content we can bring you. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video and remember, only the confident really live. Take care and have a beautiful day.